Hello everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here. Um, IXL's 8th grade math section F, identifying equivalent expressions involving exponents part 2. Main difference between part 2 and part 1 is that in part 2 we can have more than one answer. So here's the way I recommend going about this. We're going to select all the expressions that are equivalent to this. So I would simplify the original. Think about it as 10 to the negative 32. <clears throat> because when you're doing a power to another power, you multiply the exponents, and that is equal to one over 10 to the 32. So now it's simplified because we've got the exponent positive. All right, so I see the one over 32, or one over 10 to the 32. I also see the 10 to the negative 32. So those are equivalent expressions. Um, obviously, these other two are not. All right, so now we've got an expression that has the same exponents but different bases. We're dividing, so we can divide those bases. 12 divided by 4 is 3, and then you keep that exponent, so 3 squared. All right, so obviously this is not <clears throat> 3 squared. It's 1 over 9 as opposed to 9. Here's our 3 squared. Our answer is not 3, it's 3 squared. Uh, this one right here, though, is 3 squared. That is 1 over 3 to the negative 2 is like 3 to the positive 2. So that is 3 squared as well. So you kind of got to go through these one by one. Select all the expressions that are equivalent to this. Well, that's just 7 to the 9th times 1 because 7 to the 0 is 1. Or you could look at it as 9 plus 0 is 9 when you're multiplying numbers at the same base. So this is 7 to the ninth. This one over here is 7, I don't know, if you want to do 0 minus 8, you could do 7 to the negative 8, or um, 1 over 7 to the 8th, I guess, but it's definitely not 7 to the ninth. This is 7 to the ninth. 9 minus 0 is 9, so that's 7 to the ninth. Um, obviously, this is the answer we came up with. And on this one, uh, 9 times 1 is 9, and that's what you do when you're doing a power to another power. So that is 7 to the ninth as well. There's three that are equivalent to the original expression. <clears throat> All right, same base, different uh, exponents. We're dividing, so we can divide these bases. This is 6 to the sixth power. I'm sorry. Did I say divide the bases? I meant subtract the exponents, okay? So 8 minus 2 is 6. Um, over here, same exponents or powers, so we can multiply the bases. That actually is 6 to the 6th power. Um, this one, no. Here we have the same bases and we're multiplying, so we can add the exponents. 1 plus 5, that's 6. 6 to the 6th power. It's definitely not 6 to the 4th power. They're trying to get you to think about doing 8 divided by 2, but it's really 8 minus 2. <clears throat> All right. Different bases, same power. Uh, we can multiply the bases here and keep that power. 80 to the 3rd, right there. 80 to the 3rd not 80 to the ninth. Um, 80 to the third is not the same as 1 over 80 to the third. It would be the same as 1 over 80 to the negative third. And on this one, negative 3 minus negative 6 is like negative 3 plus 6. And that is 80 to the third. Let's do a couple more here. Same base, different, or same, same exponents, different base. So we can do 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 to the negative third is 1 over 2 to the third. So there's a couple ways to look at it. This is 1, not 1 over 2 to the third. Um, negative 9 minus negative 6 
negative 9 minus negative 6. That's like negative 9 plus 6, which is 2 to the negative third. And we already saw 2 to the negative third, so that's 1 over 2 to the third. So that's one possibility. On this one, we're supposed to add the exponents. Negative 1 plus 3. That would be 2 to the second. That doesn't work. Um, and on this one, negative 9 minus 3, when we're dividing, we div subtract the exponents. That would be 2 to the negative 12th. So that's not going to work either. Only one choice on that one. Same base for multiplying. So we add the exponents. This is 7 to the negative 10th, or um, 1 over 7 to the 10th. Same thing. And there it is, 1 over 7 to the 10th. This is 7 to the 21st when you multiply those exponents, so no. Um, on this one, if we do negative 7 minus the 3, there's 7 to the negative 10th again. That's one of our possibilities. And here we're supposed to multiply the exponents, negative 5 times 2, which is 7 to the negative 10th. And that's a possibility that's equivalent to the original expression. Three choices there. Last time, we're supposed to multiply these exponents when you're doing a power to a power. So negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. 8 to the 12th power right there, which is the same as 1 over 8 to the negative 12th power. That would be 8 to the 12th power. This would be 8 to the 8th power, not going to work. Um, if you flip the two exponents around, negative 4 times negative 3 is 12, just like negative 3 times negative 4 is 12, so that'll work as well. All right, so you got to be pretty quick with simplifying expressions to notice that they are equivalent expressions. Um, good luck with this one, and let me know how it goes.